Hey guys, we've been hitting a hundred plus views in most of the videos. And you know what? If you have not watched our previous videos, do well to go back and watch it. And if you have not subscribed, it will be a very good opportunity for you to as well subscribe to this channel so that you can get feeds on what is going on. You know, I thought of something that is worth sharing with you. Shocking reasons why clients think they don't need architects. Can you imagine? Can you even think about that? <laughs> you know what? How do you even think about executing something without planning for it? You know what? An architect is someone that you do not need to play with the person's position in the built industry because it's actually the one that creates the original idea that comes is better by the architect so it's quite shocking that someone would actually think that they don't need an architect in a project or think of doing a project without having an architect work with the person okay I'm going to tell you in this video four shocking reasons. Do watch and share, like and subscribe. All right? Number one, they think that the architect is too expensive. <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> this is funny. Oh, so you have to have money to buy cement. You have money to buy blocks. You have money to buy everything. To build the house but you do not have money to pay the architect it's actually uh, ironical that the architect is not too expensive I would say that because if you compare the cost of the project with the cost of the architect's charges it's not up to 10% just less than that imagine that up such a percentage that an architect is charging you to help you realize your project effectively and you think it's too expensive okay go ahead and try it with that architect you spend all the money you have i'm telling you that's exactly what will happen and what do you think number two most clients really think that the architects do just drawings imagine yes architects do drawings they design they plan you know but they don't just do drawings they specify they manage they even uh, advise you on things that might arise apart from that they they analyze you know so the results that you see the product that you see as a building is a process that's why it is clearly stated that architecture is a process you do not just look at the building it was thought through from one stage to the other in fact from the point where the clients whoever comes up with a brief and as you know that you don't really have a direct brief some clients don't really have a clear brief it is architects that even still help them to frame up the brief to, for it to be clearer to them so imagine you not wanting to have somebody who can give you so much clarity on what you want to do in the project yes sometimes you even see a situation whereby the plan has been done uh, the client just takes it away and feels they can build it or maybe the architect has been in the project and they have done the carcass and you feel that you can just call anybody to come and do the finishing come on that is not the right thing to do because a lot of errors I have even experienced or I'm seeing in the industry I, I see that finishes has been done poorly because most times the architect is not in the project at that stage the client feels he has seen the building yes this is it we just go and pick somebody a tiler to come and put up the top that's why in my previous videos I have encouraged graduate architects and student architects to pick up the responsibility of exploring trade possibilities, trade skills that they can use and service the industry rather than leaving it for just artisans who do not really have a grasp of the technicalities of the uh, industry. Okay, now you actually really need the architects. Let me tell you this if you didn't know. The third reason why clients think they don't really need an architect it will shock you 
Number three, they think that the architect is too professional. Can you imagine that sometimes the client will want to bend the architect? Yes, the architect is very flexible. But you know, there are certain things that are not compromisable. You know, not just statutory, but things that will benefit the client. Okay, now let's even look at it from the statutory aspect. You've been asked to leave a setback so that you will have good allowance for air to flow. And you tell the client that the client is wasting your land. At the end of the day, if you do not allow that allowance, you will not have good air quality. You know, and so there are some there are some architects that would not want to bend for such things. Okay, a client will come and tell you, don't give me cross ventilation, just open it up, uh, reduce the headroom, things like that that are just so appalling. Like you have a door and you want to reduce the size of the door, that is ridiculous. So there are standards that the architect would not compromise, and these are these are clear indications. When you see an architect, you will know an architect. You cannot bend, he will advise you. So you do not play with that because more of bending the architect results in building failures. And an architect will not even bend. So at the time where you see an architect backs off from a project, he, because he doesn't want to be involved in such a thing, and he ends up in failures. And some people will come and tell you, I will do it, I will do it. No, no, no. You need an architect. The fourth reason, number four, why clients feel that they don't need an architect. They really don't know what the architects do. And this one is just it's an ignorant aspect of the whole thing because maybe uh, they need to listen to us more because that's much more of the reason why I am here to talk to everyone so that we know what the architects does. A lot has been done by several other architects, but this is for you to know that the architect is not just doing drawings, is not just interpreting the, your design. The architect is an embodiment of all that needs to be done in the built environment. The architect is a voracious thinker. The architect thinks in multiple dimensions. He doesn't just think about his role. He thinks about the stability of the building. He thinks about the beauty of the building, you know? And he thinks about the functionality of the building. So by the time you put this trinity, these three aspects together, you see that it is not something that any other person can do easily. So you really need an architect in any project that you want to do. He is the person that will tell you whether you should go ahead to do it or not do it. Can you imagine another aspect where we have a lot of collapses in the country? Because you say you don't need an architect. That's why you're having those collapses. The architect backs off and somebody will come and tell you this is going to work, this will work. Yes, you think you don't need an architect. That's why we have a poor quality environment. That's why we have environments that are not landscaped, that are not beautiful. You need an architect in every aspect of what you want to do in contributing to the built environment. So, now that you have watched this and you know it, and uh, if you're an architect and you've watched this, do drop your comments if you actually agree with these things. Clients normally say, or these shocking reasons why clients really feel they don't need an architect. If you've also had this encounter, do well to share it with us in the comment section so that we can also be aware because for me, I've experienced these four reasons why they feel they don't need an architect and I've taken pains to educate my clients. Please share with us so that we can also hear from you. And for you, students, architects, and graduate architects, don't be discouraged at all. Keep on telling them what it is. For my beautiful clients, yes, 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 you. <laughs> it is very good for you to know that you need an architect. 
in every aspect of it. Well, thanks for watching. See you.